gentlemen, gamers, guys, and girls. Today we are doing something a little different. Today we are going to build a PC using, well, PC Simulator. Alright, here we go. Alright, here's one of my other builds I did. Oh, I don't know why I just disconnected it. Great way to go, me. Good job, good job. Well, it has RGB fans or anything. Well, you know, we'll just go ahead and do this real fast. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll show that one off. We'll go ahead and plug it all in. Oh, I guess I don't really need anything else. But that's one of my previous builds. But we're going to do a different one. Obviously, this one's just a standard core air. Uh, I did rip black style. Looks nothing like my PC. I actually have a completely different one. Um, but we're going to do one slightly different. So we're going to start off not with this case. I don't know. Can I put this back on the shelf? We're going to pick a new case. We're going to make a new one. And we're going to have fun. Let's find a fun one to do. Here's an MSI. There's a dragon on it too. And I am breaks it off. That is You know what? Let's go for it. I see that works pretty good. I have an HP Omen right now. And you know what? It has this little top side right here. It has a little logo on the front, just like that. Let's do it. Let's use this one. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna go ahead and remove this side panel. Obviously we're gonna do that one and we're gonna remove that side panel as well. I know I have a theme of red and black, which is my two favorite colors. Uh, I don't know why that's color combination, just I love it. Alright, so uh, we're gonna be removing this fan too, because we're gonna make mm, I don't know, let's say let's do a white interior. Or black interior. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So, first thing we're going to have to figure out, obviously, is multiple things. One, we're going to need a motherboard, we're going to need a CPU, CPU cooler, might be a little cooling for the top side. Uh, if that's the case, then we're still going to remove these as well. That's what we're just going to get there. Um, we're going to need any fans on the front side. You have some here, but I should remove that all together. Hey, look at that. I'm going to be running an SSD on this one. You'll need a hard Obviously, because of an SSD filter into the computer, so it's much faster. So we're just going to go ahead and work with the hard drive days, because we won't do that, obviously. All right. And we're going to get rid of these fans right here, which are going to the front panel. Pick that filter up, and get these going on. All right, so now we have an empty case we can actually work with. So first thing, we're going to be figuring out what we want. It's obviously going to be our motherboard because that will also determine what we want inside as well as the outside. Uh, Legend Steel, Ace Rock Pro, Plot, Phantom Gaming. These are some good ones. Do we stick to the red and black theme? We can go with this one. Ooh, but this one's the Prime. With the, these both have the, oh, the RGB something. Um. Bricks Gaming. This is actually, I think, the one I was almost going to buy if I built my own PC. Um, but you know what? Let's run... I don't know. Should I go for a solid white interior? On a full black setup, though? That'd be kind of weird. We need a dark setup. Yeah, so we'll run this one. That sounds good. Let's do that. Alright, we got to remove these ones. Now, obviously, if you haven't played this game, uh, I say game, like there's actually an element to it. It's just a simulator. Let's be honest. Because it even says right here, simulator. So, you're, these are your standoff screws. So, if you don't know anything about building PCs or anything like that, obviously, you might think you might have a tough time. You don't want to play this. It's a waste of time. And honestly, it's going to teach you pretty well how to do it. I knew absolutely nothing about PCs for the most part. And there's our... The, yeah, it's the SSD card. So that's the drive cover. So, 
obviously I don't know I didn't know anything about this before and it kind of teaches you a little bit not everything obviously because you know cable management and all whatnot uh, this is actually my headset right here on the side I actually get that in right there. uh ironically enough I love HyperX but I want that mic but that is not the one I have that is a little more expensive <laughs> I mean, I didn't even notice that either. all right so now we're gonna need CPU cool or not CPU cool, sorry, CPU in themselves. And I think yeah, that was an Intel board. If I was correct. Um, yeah, we'll just do an i7 right here, i7 hundred legs. That should be the same. All right, we'll close that up. Close the arm. We'll zoom in. Always remember, if you are building one, even though this is not a guide of any kind, uh, thermal paste. A little dab in the center because whenever you press it down the center it disperses to the rest of it so now we need to install obviously a cpu cooling fan so let's look at a water cooling here i just think those are at the bottom are they not who is cool though the rc so we have the antic uh be quiet also another good love that that's a good brand too Gamer Storm? I don't know that brand. Is that an actual brand or is that just built into the game? I don't know. It could be, could not be. You never know. Range Nick, I don't know what that brand is either. Um uh, I did like that other one though. That was nice. Yeah, we'll go back. Yeah. I kinda like that one. Let's do that. So yeah, that's custom water cooler. I like that little mirror glass stuff. That's nice. So next things you're gonna need are obviously you're gonna need RAM sticks. Uh, probably we're gonna do 16 gigabytes in this build. You're gonna need obviously more fans, but we'll get to that probably last. We're gonna need our SSD. Go right here. We're gonna need a graphics card. Better not have to look super nice with that one. Uh, we're gonna need a power supply. And then, obviously, all the other little uh, details of everything else. But next thing we'll go ahead and do is we're going to get the ramp sticks. Um, let's see, is they have the Corsair, the Corsair Vengeance. I know they have the right style. I don't know if they have it. I'll say that it's a lot of Corsair. Dominator, White, Contractor Vengeance. So they look pretty good. Hey, look, they actually do have it. Hey, it's in white as well. Sick. All right, that works great. I like that. Sweet. So we should have to do these. And we install right there. And I. Oh wait, you know what? I forgot. I did. I said I was going to do light carrier, but then I swapped it up and I was going to one dark carrier. And now I have the wrong one. So now we got to go on closer vengeance again. Zoom in. Bah! There we go. Okay, now we're gonna install a second one. Let's go all the way down. Again, well, you know, screw it, we're just gonna do this again. There you are. Bah! Okay, there we go. Look at that. Love the mirror on that as well. That's kind of cool. That's super sick. And then these are gonna have RGB lights on as well. Alright, next thing to install is going to be the SSD. Uh, you can do the graphics card, but guess what? If you put the graphics card in, you will have to immediately take it out in order to get this to fit in there. So, yeah. Uh, let's make sure we're not doing a hard drive that. So screw that. Uh, data, Corsair. I do like the Corsair series. Um, da -da 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 -da. MP504 series, those are the ones that you know about. So that's the screw for that. It's like stick the, is that also called the standoff screw? I think it might be. The standoff screw underneath just to prevent that from moving. And then we can close that up. So now what we can do is we're gonna install a graphics card, but for that, well that doesn't have the template code, that makes life easier. 
So we need to figure out which ones we're going to be doing. I think it's obviously going to be this right here. So we're going to have to probably to remove that one and that one, is my guess. So we're going to install a graphics card. And let's see, what's written black? MSI? Radeon is. AMD Radeon is on. Black and red as well. But I like the MSI look better. So, ooh, the Radeon Strix. Also, make sure uh, if you're building one in the future, just reference from a inexperienced person. I do know one thing. Make sure your graphics arm is not VRAM. Let's just be in here because it maybe has more data. It doesn't have to steal some from the processors. Just, just stick with it. Alright, so we're going to get a nice pretty one. Um, do we have MSI? Oh, let's see. Hey, MSI, there we go, red black. Alright, so let's see, obviously there's an 8 gig 1080 gaming Z. Yeah, let's do that. Ah. Oh, what? Oh, okay, I forgot to remove this. Well, we gotta remove this one now. So install. Does it save in the PC parts? It doesn't save in the PC parts. What? Oh, what a piece of crap. Alright. Um, we'll just cut forward right now. Hey, look at that. The graphics card's installed already. Can you believe it? Alright. Uh, one thing that I am going to do before I forget to do it, because it's going to annoy me uh, to high heaven, is I'm going to re-put that PCI cover right there. There we go. That makes my life uh, a little better. So now you need, we already had that, so you need power supply. And specifically the one that I have actually seen before is actually that. Um, obviously, I should also remember to take off the power for the PCU cover, so that way it can be installed. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, we'll go back and install. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now... Now we need to install some fans. Um, let's go with it. Yeah, let's go with some Corsair. Uh, 140 straight up front. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, so 140 makes sense with front. Boom, check that out. Alright. So the cables. Motherboard, power supply, 24 pin. That's gonna be to that. That will also be to that. And that'll be the case. That, this part right here. That's obviously still here. Okay, so now, what we need to do. Oh, we still need another pin right there. Let's install another pin. You know what? Since we already have all the Corsair ones, let's go ahead and do another Corsair. I think 140 bits right there as well. Beautiful. Look at that. Alright, let's just see if the power's on. Oh, and it's all red, except for you. You need to not be red. Or not be pink. That's weird looking. Okay, so now, let me go ahead and install some of our PC parts back, including said side panel on this side. Alright, there we go. And now we'll install another one. The top panel, because I forgot that we did that. And install PSU mount. Didn't even realize that was missing. All right, there we go. And the next one will be the front panel. We had dust. Did I not put the dust filter back? What's wrong? So you have dust filter here, and you have dust filter on top. There we go. Ah, you install the front panel. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Alright, so now, what was the other guys? 
Oh, we have the drive bay cover. Oh, that's for my other computer, though. That's that's not this computer. Oh, the side panel already had it on there. Okay, sweet. But we don't have to worry about that quite yet. So we already have PC, drive bay, drive bay, fan cover, PC had covered. Okay, so we're good there. So cables we can go back to if we wanted. And I do kind of wish that the cables in here were at least a different color. And I think if I had some solid red and black color cables in All right, so do that one. Oh, you may not be able to do with those ones. That one you can, though. Now let's get all the cables here. Now we do this, pop that in there. And then we will also the OS, so an operating system that we have on these USB drives all handled in the front. Okay. Plug that in, install a side panel here. Pop, power that on. Look at it. See the fans down that side too. There. Alright, so now we can go over our PC here. And this will be the USB stick. And we can choose the light. But pretty well, there is a build for it. Um, don't know why those switch to RGB. Rainbow as opposed to just solid red. I'm actually going to call just solid red. It's a clean look, I think. So let's go to lighting. Let's go to select all. Go all the way over to the white. And there we go. Go back. That's super bright. Okay, let's change. So let's Yep, I like the blue. And can we do like a nice uh, darker red? You too can build a PC using this. Obviously, you don't have to make a red and black build. I just like to do that because those are my favorite colors. You can go through, you can do system info, you can 3D benchmark it, uh, you can rank the parts, obviously, the OCTC. You've got GPU tuner for the benchmarking. Uh, will it run? That's mainly for the story mode. I can see the air cool for that, but that's pretty well for the story mode, meaning that you can actually test and build other people's PCs and see how they uh, work with games and if they need specific items, obviously they're going to need um, your help figuring out what they are. So you have to use that book. But like I said, you can go in, build your own PC, definitely cheaper than uh, having to do anything for building an actual PC. 
because this game costs 20 bucks and obviously building a computer costs way more than that. Um, you even have some that have the strange shapes, like the Gamer Storm Tristellar case. Uh, sometimes they're like that. Other ones are the Quad Stellars, different shapes, sizes. You can do water cooling, custom piping, table management isn't really a thing, but you can design the tables. But, um, <laughs> chunk is actually, I think, I think I should make one. I one. Uh, but yeah, if you're into it, I definitely recommend it. If you want to have fun building a PC, if you watch videos on that, super fun to do. This even has the Razer cases. Even if you don't have the Razer expansion, I think those already come built in with because that's what mine is. Uh, you can definitely play around with it and do what you want and have fun. But for now, uh, my name is Drake Slayer. Hope you guys had fun with this, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.